But good news is we have a lot of blue skies starting to work their way into the area. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Starkville. But as always, keep careful out there. We have that dividing line throughout central Mississippi where we're seeing that wintry mix of some sleet, some slushy conditions as well. But all the snow staying too below and north to, to work its way across the southeast. That's where we're really going to see the temperatures start to drop to more normal levels. Seasonal highs return as all that cooler air begins to push its way into the, the Mississippi. Hours, we see a big plummet right here. I like a roller coaster ride as we've continued to drop with a cold front passing through but we will see that continue to rise back up don't worry springtime temperatures will be back 9 p.m. so you may need a little bit of a jacket if you're out late trick-or-treating but most importantly the best forecast of all plenty of candy gonna be had tonight the kids are gonna have a great springs. you better be in a shelter right now get to that place turn up your TV or radio so you can hear what's happening and it's going to continue to move back. So we look back towards the reflectivities. We're going to see uh, where this is kind of moving this whole entire storm system headed towards the south of Calhoun City, headed towards Chickasaw County. If you're out ahead, especially in areas around Houston, Mississippi, you want to make sure that you're already getting your safe place ready. I have your plan in effect because this storm system is continuing to work its way through. Now, if your areas to the north, like Calhoun City, this is where all the hail is going to be. You're going to have some strong, damaging winds, but especially to the south in this area. This is the next path uh, for the tornado. So if you're in southern Calhoun County and southern Chickasaw County or northern Winston County, take cover right now. This is what we're seeing right here is what's called a debris ball. What that typically indicates on radar is where we have debris being picked up by a tornado. So a very serious situation. This isn't something that's commonly seen. So make sure, especially if you're out towards um, the northeast, towards Houston, Okolono, Trey Block, all those areas Areas are in the path of this storm and right we now. still see very strong rotation as the new radar image comes through as that uh, moves towards the radar away from the radar and that's where we see that rotation switching back to our reflectivities we're going to see really the whole structure of this storm and that debris ball wow is still sitting right there very significant uh, debris ball right there to the south of Houston if you're in any of these areas Houston Trey block up towards Okolono you're gonna it definitely want to be blazing hot across central Mississippi with heat indices all the way in the triple digits already. We're seeing 105 in New Orleans, 102 in Birmingham, 104 in the Golden Triangle. So I hope you're watching somewhere with some air conditioning or maybe out by the pool. How do we get rid of this temperature during the summer? Well, we usually bring in some rain, but right now we're not seeing any of that across the state. A few clouds building in and some chances down around the coast to bring in some rain this afternoon. But for the rest of the state, you're going to have to bear with these hot temperatures the rest of the day. And don't let those clouds fool you either. They're not going to bring any comfort because those temperatures still looking at 103 for our feels like temperature. Where's the breeze to cool us off? Not there either with calm winds right now. So just a very hot day. Uh, but by tonight, we're going to cool off just a little bit. We're going to get to 73 is our low temperature. Still no winds though. Tomorrow, so hot our graphics are catching on fire with 97 is our high. A little bit of a breeze though. Maybe help us cool off just a little bit, but still no chances for rain to bring us any cooling action. But by Friday, we see that next big chance of rain. And by big, it's still not that much compared to what we have seen, but we're still seeing a high of 95 degrees. Hopefully we can cool off enough to maybe make the start of the weekend enjoyable. And then by Saturday, Saturday, we cool off a little bit more high of 93 degrees with still more chance of rain to cool us off. And then we see that lowest point of the week, 68 degrees is our low on Sunday. So hopefully we have a cool start to the morning. But then by the afternoon, the clouds are all out, lots of sunshine back up to 94 degrees. So it'll be once again a warm day.